life if you just give me a chance. I am also going to show you the sexual uses of dogs according to their breeds. Greetings, traveler. Remember Whitney, Wisconsin, the chick who got popularized by Leafy for having sex with dogs? Yeah. It turns out she made a list on which dogs are better at having sex than others. We are going to begin with the fuckers category. So I'm guessing that these are the ones that do the actual penetration. So we have German Shepherds, Australian Shepherds, Rottweilers, Dobermans, Pit Bulls, Retrievers, Boxers, Labs, Chows, The Great Pyrenees, Huskies, Great Danes, and the Alaskan Yalamute. For Lickers, we have... So these are the ones that just lick and go... Chihuahuas. So that would make my dog a licker. Hmm. Jack Russell Terriers. Maltese. Pugs. Beagles. Scottish Terriers. Dachshunds. Boston Terriers. Pomeranians. Yorkies. And Miniature Poodles. I have been with about four fuckers and three lickers. And you probably should have been with none of them. Molly has a shepherd mix that she shares with me, but I have also tried a pit bull and a roddy as well. And the pit bull was definitely my favorite. The feel when your man's dick isn't good enough, so you go with your dogs instead. Since dogs are so good at having sex, I thought maybe cats are good at having sex too. So I made my own list on how I'd rate them. We will be starting with the suckers category. I call them suckers because they'll suck your dick. We have Jewish cat, retarded cat, and that cat from Cats vs. Dogs. The rest of them are called stickers because you stick your dick inside of them. We have biracial cat, African American cat, big daddy cat, and any kind of kitten. One of my cats is a sucker, but the other one is a sticker. So that's the end of this video, but don't come crying to me when your cat claws your dick off.